Yo, so Jalen, shout out Jalen Hurts, man. And that's his agent, Nicole Lynn, that the rumored to be dating or whatever, but black female agent got him a guaranteed bag. A $255 million contract was signed, five year extension, $179 million guaranteed. Lamar, you got to get you an agent, man. Like, you got to get Mom Dukes up out of there. That, that Tasha Mack, Malik Wright thing you got going on, it's not working. And I wanted to say this because people have this outside look that, oh, they're just doing this because he's a black quarterback who runs. No, Jalen Hurts is the exact same kind of quarterback. Like, it, this is not a racial thing. If Pat Because this is the third time a black quarterback has reset the market. This time last year, Deshaun Watson reset the market when Cleveland threw that whole guarantee at him. And that's why Lamar won a guarantee, right? And then a couple of years before that, Pat Mahomes, I think it was 2020, $500 million contract. They gave him like a baseball deal. 10-year, $500 million, 300, some crazy guarantee. So it's not that's not the problem. Lamar's got to get proper representation in there. He need to holler at this girl, Nicole, because she got... And, and the best part about the trade is not even the guarantee fully. It's the no trade clause. They can't trade him. Like, this is a barrier-breaking type of deal because black quarterbacks typically, especially ones that play like that kind of style, mobile quarterback, they like to call it, they don't get this kind of money thrown at them guaranteed because people are afraid they're going to end up like RG3. You know, like that's always... It was one RG3 compared to Russell Wilson, Cam Newton, and so many other successful ones. But they RG3, for some reason, is the the the, the poster child of what it could end up like. You could end up getting hurt and end up in a suit on ESPN in a few years. That's what people don't want. But Hurts, I mean, look, he didn't win an MVP, but he should have had he finished the season. And he took his team to a Super Bowl. And honestly, he outplayed Pat Mahomes in that game. One mistake. That was it. 300 yards, three touchdowns. It was crazy. So it was well-deserved. Knew it was going to happen, though. And I said it. Like, Jalen Hurts, the Eagles were going to have to pay him before anybody, first and foremost. They had to after that. You know, just a couple years ago, they were questioning drafting him. So now they've secured their guy. It's happening all over the league. I mean, even as much as, as much of a mess as the Cardinals are, they've secured Kyrie. You know, another black mobile quarterback. Like, they're, they're, they're pins, they're, the money is there. I say Lamar just got a, like I say, they threw 15 million guaranteed at Odell, you know? So some of it might be a personal issue with Lamar as far as why they haven't gotten to, to nitty gritty. Same thing like the Packers and the Aaron Rodgers, they got that petty little beef going. So they're dragging out that whole thing situation too. They're waiting after the draft. So some of this stuff is personal because I'm like, bro, there's no way you're going to tell me black quarterbacks ain't getting paid. It's not that. Lamar got to get some real representation because i don't know what his mom's is doing i'm like bro this this call either nicole or call uh rosenberg or what not rosenberg rosenhouse drew rosenhouse drew rosenhouse been getting people paid for years like you got to get in there because if not you're gonna be sitting around i mean i know he's gonna people are saying well odell getting signed he's gonna have to play no he can still sit out uh, but he don't want to play on that tag but it's got to be done, man, because that's the first thing everyone was thinking about was, damn, Lamar Jackson got to be sitting here like, really? You know, like, watch his Twitter today. Keep an eye on his Twitter, his social media. <laughs> he might have something to say. Oh, yeah. Why can you tell